to my channel. I'm coming at you today with a video that maybe, maybe it isn't totally an attractive subject matter, but I think it's an important one and I think it can become attractive. And what I'm talking to you about today is checking your blood pressure. And that is something that any doctor, anybody in the health profession will tell you it's important to do. And what I want to reiterate in this video is that it's important to do no matter your age. You might think, oh, I'm too young to worry about that yet. You might think, I'm really athletic. I work out all the time. I don't need to be looking at that. It must be good already. It's important to check no matter your age, no matter your lifestyle. And I'm here to tell you that because I have a history of high blood pressure in my family. And recently, yes, I've had higher numbers than I want, but with the help of my doctors and other lifestyle changes on top of already exercising, which I already had been doing, but I've been able to manage it and get it down. And I'm hoping to, you know, keep it that way for a long, 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 long time. And one product I wanna tell you about that's helped is the blood pressure cuff I've been using. And you don't have to get this one, but I'm gonna tell you why I like it. Because I have had two or three that you can get at the drugstore. They're fine. But, you know, the, the cuff, it inflates, and, and it might be loud, it might inflate really tightly, um, it might take longer to measure the blood pressure, and also it might not be totally digital to where it would link right to your phone. This does. So this is from Cardio with a Q. Cardio that starts with a Q. And it comes in this little case. And I got mine from Amazon. So they, Cardio has their own website, but I got this through Amazon. And so the little case has pockets too that you could put extra little, um, even little batteries, because it is battery powered. Um, but basically, once you get the device, then you put the app on your phone and you'll have it sync with your cardio arm. That's what this is specifically called. They have a smart scale. I believe they have other products too that I haven't quite checked out yet. But this is the cuff. It's all wrapped up. there and so it's really compact and to use it you unroll it until you see that silver bar and then from there you have to kind of pull it because then you have a little bit of extra that you pull to actually go around the arm. Now this label you're gonna want facing down. So you want that more towards your elbow. So I put it on. Tighten it up and attach it. And then the other thing I didn't mention yet, but when you open it, then it turns on the device automatically. And then I'll show you a screenshot that the little green dot in your app, after you've opened it up, will turn green. And that means it's ready to press and to record your blood pressure. So when, it, when it's done, and the other neat thing is you can set it to take one, two, or three readings in a sitting. So, like for me, I do get a bit nervous when just the thought of taking my blood pressure. Um, when I'm at the doctor, I'm nervous about them taking it. And so having those extra readings and having an average of them out helps. Um, even within that time, I get, you know, less nervous. And so that might be something that helps you too, if you get nervous about that. Um, and again, those other, <clears throat> readers, those blood pressure monitors at the drugstore, yeah, you can press it however many times you want, but it won't average your readings. So just something to think about. 
but I do like that feature that it'll take multiple readings. You can also have it set to show photos from your phone or a tablet, whatever device you're measuring it on. Um, and I tried that once and then pictures of my cats showed up that made me laugh. And so that didn't help my blood pressure. <laughs> But that might be something you want, or you might be able to choose some stock photos for it to show. Um, I just have it on its regular setting, and I typically don't even look at the screen anyway when I'm having it read, when I'm having it measured. But the blood pressure cuff, it really helps. It's helped with my anxiety for taking blood pressure. And so that automatically gives a more valid reading. So that's why I like using it. And just otherwise, you know, I've really upped my actual cardio. Yes, I dance. Yes, I take classes and I'm doing strength work, but I realize that isn't always a constant elevating of your heart rate. So I do find that even regular walking, it doesn't have to be running anything crazy. I don't have to run a marathon, but normal walking at a high enough, a fast enough pace uh, really helps me keep the blood pressure down too. And I can make other videos about uh, nutrition, but I've made the choice to eat more plant-based meals throughout the week as well. Not totally. Um, I'm not considering going vegan <clears throat> or even straight vegetarian, but making a few different choices has helped me as well. And everybody and every body is different. If, if you're a vegan, great. And that must work for you. And that's awesome. And that must be doing good things for your heart as well. And I, cause I really do see that making those couple changes, my blood pressure seems to be responding well to that. And I want to say no matter your age, no matter your activity level, no matter what you do eat, get into checking your blood pressure. I recommend that. Even if you don't get uh, this specific device, get anything and, and have it checked regularly. You can even get a device from the drugstore and take it to a doctor and they'll measure it, you know, and they'll make sure that it, it's working how it should for you. If that's something that you're interested in that you're concerned about. But really, yeah, that's my mission with this video to get people thinking about and measuring their blood pressure. And another thing I'll say about that is how often to check it. There was a point in time I was recommended, it wasn't my cardiologist, but a different doctor had recommended that I measure it multiple times a day. Yes, I was able to see trends with that, but I also think that my anxiety went up even more because I was checking it all the time. And really I was just going a couple of hours before the next reading. And so that in itself, I think wasn't totally valid. Again, yeah, it gave me trends, but even after that point, my cardiologist said two, three, four times a week is fine to check it. And I like to check it in the morning, you know, before my day has started and before things pile up and before I lose track of time. That's just when I choose to, and of course before any coffee, which by the way, I, I am on decaf, uh, but even before that. So just so that it's a, a clean baseline reading uh, within the first few minutes of waking up. Yeah, so those are my tips on blood pressure. Please stay healthy, please think about that, and I'll be making more videos later and let me know anything else you want to see. Thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this has been helpful. Take care. Bye.